After years of persistence, Tasmania is poised to become the AFL's 19th club, with the federal government expected to help fund a new Hobart stadium, paving the way for the league's official approval. For more, Win Sports journalist Brent Costello joins us. And Brent, are we finally about to see the state's long-awaited dream come true? It appears that way, Link. Obviously, the federal government has a lot on its plate at the moment and the Prime Minister's schedule can change. But all going well, it's my understanding that the $240 million shortfall required by Jeremy Rockliffe to build a stadium here at Macquarie Point will finally be unlocked by Anthony Albanese in a pre-budget announcement later this week or very early next week. We know he's passionate about the project. He invested $50 million into Macquarie Point when he was Infrastructure Minister back in 2012. This is a vision that will be as large as the optimism of the Tasmanian people themselves. Sources tell Win News, despite his Tasmanian Labor colleagues being opposed to a stadium, he can't be convinced it's a bad idea. We are heavily reliant on the Australian government to do their part. They've heavily funded infrastructure in other states around Australia uh, for sporting infrastructure of exactly this type, and we expect them to help us with the heavy lifting on this. It's no secret that a stadium announcement is the final piece of the puzzle for Tasmania to be officially granted a licence. So to break it down for you, here is the state of play. The forecast to build a new stadium at Macquarie Point is $715 million. $375 has been committed by the state government, with the remaining $240 coming from the feds. $85 million will be generated from land sale and commercial use, with the AFL to contribute $15 million. On top of its stadium funding, the Tasmanian government will provide the AFL $12 million a year for the first 12 years of the team's existence. They'll also fund $60 million towards the construction of a new high-performance centre. But in return, as well as the tourism and economic benefits, the state will receive plenty back from football's governing body. As well as the long-awaited teams themselves, the AFL will spend $210 million on base funding for the club's operations, invest more than $90 million into game development and $33 million into talent academies. Of course, there's still plenty of opposition to the stadium from both sides of politics. While the state's push for a side lost its tripartisan support over the weekend, with the Greens not willing to cave into the AFL's demands. The RSL is also opposed due to fears it would overshadow the cenotaph. Once the funding for Macquarie Point is announced, it's understood that Gillan McLaughlin will visit the state in the days following to officially rubber stamp a team. Brent Costello, Win News.